say is I am Anna Christophe for from IGN and I am responsible for space and earth observation partnerships. So um, I'm going to tell you about how a national mapping agency is assessing the ability of player neo images to meet uh, its needs. Okay, first a uh, necessary presentation about IGN and its activities. IGN is a French national mapping agency. So we are a public organization under the supervision of two ministers, the sustainable development and the forestry. In short, our mission is describing the territory and producing the data necessary to, for, to land and forestry management and planning. So we are quite big uh, with uh, 1,600 people working on different uh, territorial uh, departments. And we have research units, uh, production services, innovation and development services, and even a school, um, high school. So our mission is not just producing data, it's the main mission, but we also have to support the public actors uh, in their use of geospatial data, give our ex expertise and assist them. And also, uh, as I have said, teaching and research and innovation. Okay, but this presentation will focus on data. So what kind of data a national mapping agency produce? First, images. We cover all French territory by several means, and mostly plain and satellite, at a very precise resolution, 20 centimeters for aerial images, and uh, 50 to 1 meter uh, centimeter uh, resolution uh, with satellite images. We have also LIDAR coverage, so laser coverage, and we are making it on all the territory. The second kind of data is uh, vector data and maps. Buildings, roads, hydrology, vegetation, um, addresses, we maintain several databases which describe the surface of the territory the most precisely possible. But this is not enough for the public actors. So we work with them and mostly other national public actors to produce the data they need, land cover, forestry, biodiversity, and so on. And all, most of this data is open source and accessible by a portal and an API. Okay, so perhaps you are thinking, okay, they cover all French territory by plane at a very high resolution. So why play a new? Because of several factors, but mostly two urban pressure and climate change. Territories are changing more and more quickly. Forests are suffering, even the French forest. Inundations are more and more frequent and so on. So we need to observe the territory more frequently. And you guys talk about the um, uh, cost, environmental cost of plane uh, versus satellite. So. Observe more frequently, use more satellite. We are facing several challenges. And to achieve these goals, we have to combine uh, data sources. Air coverage is limited by logis logistical constraint. So we cannot observe uh, the Earth more frequently by plane. And we need another very high resolution, 30 uh, centimeters or less, with high quality and reliable data source. 
in short, we need um, another kind of images, very close the, of the aerial images we use today. And we identify Pleaneo as a real opportunity for this. But how to be sure that Pleineo uh, is able to respond to our needs? We wanted to assess two things, the data quality of the images and its regularity on a large coverage, not just on few images, and the capacity of this data to be used in all data production processes. But large coverage means large amount of data and just for assessment. So we thanks, we must thank Airbus and its team because we are working today on this subject within the framework of a very constructive partnership where each partner brings their expertise to the other and one with one objective is making the data as appropriate as possible for mapping. And without uh, this help and this partnership, uh, we won't uh, have been able to make this assessment. So I won't describe all the assessment to the list. Uh, it will be absolutely boring. Uh, a lot of tests have had to be done from the production of the auto imagery to the data production with uh, manual uh, methods and with uh, artificial intelligence methods. The objective was answering three very important questions. What is the quality of Plaid Neo images compared to 20 centimeters aerial images? So a very hard and unequal comparison. Second, can these images be integrated in all current data production processes? Can, be, can we use them? And the first, what IT development are necessary to adapt this process? And this last question is, least, is still uh, under uh, uh, reflection. So I will uh, show you one um, of the tests, one few of the tests we have done. So these first tests are very impressive. I'm sorry. Uh, producing cartographic data without uh, artificial intelligence, it's not very sexy, but they are crucial for us. The first step was very simple, image to image comparison. So you have uh, on the right side, a Plaid Neo image, and on the left side, the 20 centimeter uh, aerial uh, image. It was a very difficult and unequal comparison because uh, the resolution of the aerial images is better than the Plaid Neo. But Plaid Neo successfully met uh, the challenge and it was a very nice result. We, I chose a not very sexy place, but with a sports uh, place so you can see all the details, um, a lot of details and all the capacity of Plaid Neo to uh, show these details. And this is not uh, 15 uh, centimeters images, it's really uh, uh, 30. The second step was assessing a large co coverage because, okay, one image is of good care quality, but is a lot of images are uh, at the same quality. So we uh, run uh, the, a test on the entire department in a somewhat rainy region, not an easy sunny region. And 50 images were acquired in a very short time from the middle of July to the middle of October in um, 2022. With these images, uh, we've produced uh, two auto-imagery mosaics. 
So what is important is that uh, you can buy, of course, already prepared and data uh, to Airbus. But in all cases, uh, we need to work with raw imaging because all data is located at a precision to 10 to 20 centimeter. So we uh, buy, we acquire uh, from Airbus raw images and we made all the process of autorectification, paving, radiometric harmonization, and all the technical uh, uh, treatments. And we produce two uh, auto-imagery mosaics, one in color and one with using the infrared uh, canal. And we analyze the results of this coverage and validated that each point on the image is located at more or less uh, 20 centimeters of its real position in reality. And that's a very, very good result. So it's a goal to integrate all data, these images in all data production processes. And this is the basis on the, on that permits us to make uh, data production tests. Let's look at uh, if the images can be used to update and maintain one of all databases, the agricultural plots uh, database. IGN is in charge of to maintain this database used to monitor the European Fund for Agricultural Activities. So it's a very political subject and a data we have to update in a very short time each year. There is a lot of pressure on this. We pick 40,000 hectares of agricultural areas in different places to have different kinds of agricultural activities. And we compare in the same process that before, the updating with plan new images and the updating with uh, aerial uh, images. So on the right, you have the plan new image, image and on the left, you have the, you have the aerial image. And you can see that it's very, 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 very similar. So the results are pretty good. The precision of the data is sufficient for our needs. And our people, the people producing the data, were quite happy with these images. They enjoy the sharpness and the contrast and tell us that it was uh, nice to work on this. Just one on inconvenience, a less detailed texture of the vegetation and denser shadows than the aerial images. But we can work on that and work on radiometric adjustments. So the conclusion was that clouds should be avoided at all costs because of the cloud and because of the shadows of the clouds. The shadows are the most blocking factor because they are dense. But if there is not a lot of shadows, the images are absolutely okay for our processes. We choose to acquire uh, the image in between middle of April and middle of October. Uh, for um, vegetation uh, purpose. And we are, as a mapping agency, we need very reduced acquisition angles um, because of uh, deformation and diversion uh, that can be uh, caused by big angles. So the next step to conclude, it's um, integrate PLEAD-NEO in all 
intelligence, artificial intelligence processes. Um, we produce and buy annotation in which were delivered in September and new experiments have begun. Fine-tuning uh, EI models, initialization of new models and so on. So this is to be continued and with more sexy slides. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.